In this video, we're going to be dividing by 2 and 10. Now, division is a lot like multiplication. If you know your multiplication facts, then division is just the opposite of multiplication. So, if I were to look at this first problem here, I have 4 divided by 2. So there's two different ways that you can look at division problems that we're going to talk about. So one of them has them inside this little box. Another you read from left to right just like you would in a sentence. We're going to start with this one with the box. So again, we have 4 divided by 2. And that's the same as 2 times something equals 4. So knowing your multiplication facts is going to help you with division. 2 times 2 equals 4. So I know that 2 can fit into 4 two times. So I write my 2 at the top of this box. And the way we can check is saying, well, what's 2 times 2? That gives us 4. So going back and forth between your multiplication and division facts is going to help you with both of them. So let's look at it another way, right? We can read it as 8 divided by 2. Another way to think of it as 2 times something equals 8. Now, the number that it equals in a multiplication problem is called your product. The number that we are dividing is going to be our dividend. The dividend is what's being separated out, and the dividend is the same as your product. So that's what you have to think of. What can I multiply my divisor by to get to my dividend. So I know that 2 times 4... Mia Garcia to the gym. Mia Garcia to the gym. I know that 2 times 4 equals 8. So that must mean that 8 divided by 2, 8 split into 2 groups, gives me 4. Let's look at a word problem. So, just like in multiplication, there are key words that tell us if something is division. So, a few of the key words that can signify we're going to divide could be each group has, how many in each, evenly, split, equally, shared, divided, or serve. So, let's see if we find any of those key words in this word problem. Lexi counted her crayons and found that she has 16 crayons that she will equally place into crayon boxes. Every crayon box contains two crayons. How many crayon boxes does she need? We know that she starts with 16. That's the total she begins with. And she's going to equally place crayons into boxes. So equally means I'm going to be dividing and that means I'm going to be putting two crayons in each of those boxes. So how many crayon boxes does she need? She starts with 16 crayons. She takes two, puts them in a box. Takes two, puts them in a box. So 16 divided by two, I can think of it as two times something equals 16. Well, two times eight equals 16. Let's multiply to check that. I can do eight times two equals 16. Always try to multiply to check your division problems because if both of these work, you did it. If one of them doesn't match, you may have to go back and try again.